get my notes here. Lo Tsurushi, or Glut Mother, has taken his throne in the social reject music scene for quite a while now. The amount of effort he puts in his sound from the gliding basses to tiny details such as the little perks and zaps makes him so unique. Not only that, but he chooses to have his own creative realm within his melodies and doesn't let anyone else label him apart from that. I decided to make Lo Tsurushi first because, one, I'm a huge Lo Tsurushi fan, and two, because I feel like he has the most public information about him. And this is the first episode, so I really don't want it to flop. Loru, a SoundCloud rapper at the time, had joined Nocturnals, which is a collective that his online friend suggested to him. One of his first tracks was Talking To Me, released in 2020. He was about 14, and throughout 2020 to 2021, he was experimenting with his sound. This is evident in the songs that were released on SoundCloud during these years. Loru began to gain traction when he released Six Anthem. <laughs> As this song began to gain recognition, so did he. He eventually found his way into Greed, a collective owned by 67 and K Struno. This did help his growth. He collaborated with K on a few tracks like Issue, To For Be What You Need, and he even produced Everything Nice for K Struno. Check out those tracks, please, they're amazing. All of this was good, but just not enough. Loru had artistic visions. He wanted to do more than just make music with a collective under his name. He wanted to make a whole new world solely from his music, an ethereal place where people can escape to for just a moment. And so, he went on to pursue that dream. During 2022, Yasu Club and True Perspective were released. They were the most important because this is the time where Loru finally found out his style of sound. True Perspective is still his top song as of right now. Moving on to what we've all been waiting for, the debut album of 2023, Sisterhood. Sisterhood was Loto's first album. This was his chance to put in everything that he knows about music. His fans took it extremely well, including me. <laughs> Bro, please, uh, I can't do this no more. What is the concept of Sisterhood? It's all Loto's personalities in one person, which is him. In some songs that are completely hype, that's a sight of him, while the more melodious songs are another, whereas both or in the middle, that's the third side. Loto states in the Nobel interview that the entire story behind sisters is that each of the sisters meet at a common ground and function in unison. They're a representation of my own personal emotions, so all of my different aspects are essentially tied into one big theme or idea, acceptance. That is Los Rishi. There is much more to come, like Svelte Child, which is the second part to Sisterhood. All we can do is wait for now, and maybe I'll react to it if I can. This concludes the first episode, and I'm so glad that it came out so good. At the end of every episode, I'm gonna try to make a beat with the artist's style. Here's a Los Rishi beat. Enjoy!
If you've reached the end of the video, I'm so thankful for you. And honestly, have a good day. Bye.